you did obviously, I, like I said before, you had been watching Israel since before the UFC. Did that fight play out in there as to uh, compared to how you you know envisioned this and expected it all these years? <sighs> Yeah, well, I won at the end. <laughs> yes, I guess so. Um, I didn't do too many um, visualization sessions where I lost. But the man was as good as I thought. He was as good. He, I'm so happy that he went out there and you could, after the fight, say, this was the best Israel Adesanya. He felt great. And uh, you could see it in his, you know, just in physique. That's equal to work. And uh, he had more heart. I thought, I said the whole, I, I said I'm taking him out of there in the third and I got in the fourth. <clears throat> I could see in the end of the third, he was starting to break down, starting to break down, starting to break down. But there just wasn't enough. And uh, in that fourth round, if you look at the fight, the story of the fight was in the beginning of the round, because I knew they... Look at my game plan, me and my coaches. So we said, uh, Coach Monet, obviously genius at this. Looked at, the, at what he does, and we said, he kept on talking about he's a new fighter, he's going to come in there, be different, you know, the old Adesanya. So he's going to come in and try and fight me and stop me from going forward because they know that's how I fight and that's his script tonight when somebody's... Uh, he's not going to make the same mistake like he did against Strickland. So every round you can see this in the beginning of that round of the round i was more i was standing my ground but he was in the middle of the octagon and he was almost dictating because but if you're not used to fighting like that you get more tired if you're not used to fighting with that kind of pressure and i didn't back off i wasn't fighting on the outside i just stood my ground and then every round around two minutes my coach would shout listen you know it's time to go and I would start pushing forward, start pushing forward. And that's when I started getting every round at the end, I got the success, got the success. And um, yeah, every round he's burst, like his first, the first bit of the round where he was dictating would be shorter, shorter, shorter. And uh, in that fourth round, you know, I, I landed quite a lot of big shots. The man can take a punch, but uh, you can only take that many. You know, he kicks, he kicks like, a, like an absent, jeez. The man kicks hard the first inside low kick he kicked me i think his feet felt like this big when he kicked me it felt so heavy he, he has a that that inside low kick was incredible but um i stuck to the plan i i kept i tried to stay as disciplined in there as necessary not you know blitzing forward for too long because the blitz is my it's one thing i'm going to do and uh yeah, everything worked out perfect at media day, you also said, if there are no holes, it's my job to create them for you to take advantage of. Was this the, the finishing sequence? Like you kind of, you got that hook from behind and then you tackled him into the rear naked choke. Is that a hole that you saw envisioned? Well, I mean, we saw that uh, in the second round when I got him, I knew physically I'm stronger than Israel Desanya. He is a master at getting back to his feet and not getting his, well, if you have his back. I mean, Whitaker had his back many times. How many guys have, has, you know, gotten him down and not being able to do anything with it. So I got him down in that first round, I think, or second round, second round. Landed a couple of hard shots. So every time he would start getting back to his feet, I didn't fight him on it. I just kept uh, control of the hips and landed big shots because he was so focused on my hands around the hips that he wouldn't you know, protect his face. Landed big shots, maybe create a cut. That was what I was hoping for, landing big, big hard punches then get him back down to the ground. So he has to do all that trouble, get back up, carry my weight, hit him, hit him, hit him. And uh, in that fourth, uh, the man was, he was, he was staggered from the, from the blows. I could see when he went down, I landed big shots. And uh, I didn't plan on taking him down. I was actually planning on, on knocking him out. And um, the body positioning was just that of, the best thing to do right now is to take him down. And I could feel as we went to the ground, he wasn't resisting at all. Um, you know, he was, he was out of it a little, got the back. As soon as I, as I, as soon as I straightened him out, it was over.